Hello, welcome back to the channel. Apologies for being away for a week or so, but I've been a bit on the busy side. Right, this video is all about the BPS DBK knife. First impressions video, and I'm going to compare it with the original DBK knife. DBK released a video the other day on the BPS version of their bushcraft knife. Well, there's nothing wrong with BPS knives. They're great and they certainly come in at a very good price. Not particularly interested in reviewing cheaper knives. As far as I'm concerned, if you want a cheap knife, you buy a Mora. But I saw this and I thought, I gotta get one. So for, I think it was about £50 posted, I got one from the Ukraine. And I paid for it. This is not a freebie. Right, I'm going to show you the knife now. And I'm going to tell you what's wrong with it. It's an absolute bargain. And I think with a little bit of work, it'll be a really good knife. Here we go. It didn't arrive in the sheath. It came with uh, a little guard, a uh, paper guard on it. And I'd put it in the sheath myself. Right, so first impressions was put it in the sheath. Yeah, that's okay. And then I put the retaining strap across. It doesn't retain anything. And it's fiddly. I think if you had cold hands and you're trying to get this out, it would be a pain, or gloves or anything, I think it would be a pain. So that was the first thing I noticed that I wasn't particularly happy with was the retention on the sheath. It's got a belt loop and a dangler but it doesn't have to stick out a lot. The quality of the leather is excellent but I think that's about where it ends. Now this comes with a ferro rod as well. I'll take a knife out. So the first thing I did, like I think everyone would probably do, is look where you'd put the ferro rod. Well, it's a bit awkward to put it in the top way because of that flare. So I put it in the bottom way. It goes in. I went to take it back out and the handle came off. Not a good start. Now, I'm not going to go into the quality of the ferro rod at the moment because I'm not in the woods and I prefer to be in the woods to give it a proper testing, but that's that's not good. Considering us, all you need to do is really rough that up and epoxy it in. So there's epoxy in there, but it's only a little dab there and right down the bottom, not around here. So what I'll do today, before I leave work, I will epoxy that in properly. So yes. Hmm. As I said, the quality of the leather is great. Smells of leather, dangler. It's just the design is a real failure in my book. I was thinking of ways to improve it, but I think the best way to improve it would be to make a new one. Yeah. Not good. Right, knife. Feels fine, feels fine. Ten ninety five, and I'd say it's a a tad over three mil thick. I was expecting four mil, so it's more like about an eight or three point two mil thick. The handle feels good. It's a little bit on the slim side for me personally, but that's certainly not a deal breaker. Wooden handle, and I'm really sorry, I don't actually know what wood it is. It looks looks like a very light walnut but I don't know sorry um, fit and finish right some major scratches down here so that's 
obvious that it hasn't been finished to a very fine grit but that's reflected in the price so I'm not going to have a go at that I have to guess that looks like a 60 grit, 60 grit marks to me we've got I think they're pins they might be corby bolts they're certainly not loveless bolts because I can't see any thread marks so they're either corbys or they're tubes brass with a brass lanyard tube and that the handle is comfortable I'm not going to moan at that at all this bit is a bit sharp and I reckon that if you miss hit batten in I think that would probably break off I haven't watched any reviews on this only the DBK one and that was a couple of weeks ago and being a 50 year old I've forgotten most of it already so that's me right we've got a sabre grind on it with what looks to be a reasonably polished edge now I don't know if it's sharp so we'll do a, an arm hair test it does shave arm hair but it doesn't pop so I'm not particularly sharp right bit of a paper test regular paper so I'm not using thin directory book paper like they do no it doesn't cut paper under its own weight so I've got to push it to get the cut started it is a bit of a rough cut so the edge isn't brilliant nothing a quick tickle on a on a water stone or a diamond stone or something wouldn't solve and then a bit of a strop it'll probably be fine yes 10.95 finishes a little bit on the rough side so chances are it would rust quite easily I think a lot of people don't realize with a carbon steel the more polished it is the less likely it is to rust but price gotta think of that price again now the big one I noticed as soon as I pulled it out of the box was the tip. It is blunt. I can't do that with one of my knives. I would have a hole in my finger. Yes, the tip is blunt. Very rounded. So yeah, that's a shame. It's nice and sharp, spine is sharp, so I'm sure it'll throw some good sparks off that ferro rod. And I'm looking forward to that. So that's it, basically, in a nutshell. I'll give you my opinion. I think it's a bargain, but it needs work. The handle will be fine and comfortable out of the box. Yeah, that's nice. There's, there's no reason to moan about that. The edge needs a bit of attention. And... If you haven't got some form of grinder that would be a problem it may be just on the one I've had perhaps everybody else's will turn up with a nice sharp point on it mine didn't mine turned up blunt yes I'm looking forward to using it yes so it's a shame about the edge and the tip ferro rod and sheath dodgy now I'm going to compare it to the original knife it is definitely smaller so I'd say we've got about 3 mil on the blade shorter on this one and about two mil on the handle the big difference for me is the feel of the handle it's a lot more meat on the original dbk knife much more comfortable handle and i really like this knife this is a great i wouldn't call this a bushcraft knife mine 
It's called a DBK bush crafter, but to me it's more of a utility knife with that grind and a convex. Yeah, more of a utility knife, but I do like this knife and it performs really, really well. The price difference is huge. I think when I got this last year with shipping, I think it was £342 and that was £50. Huge difference. Well, that's 4mm thick L Max and that's 3mm thick 1095. Big difference in the price of the steel as well. You can't really compare them because the premium materials on this and they've been made by TRC which are a fantastic knife company. You can't really compare. But so far I think that's a bargain but it needs work. As a thought this company, TRC, same blade, if they use the same blade, put a micata handle on it and a better sheath, even a Kydex sheath, I think they could charge twice what they charge and it would still be a bargain. I think a hundred quid, that's pounds to everybody in the rest of the world, I think a hundred pounds, that had a micata handle and a nice Kydex sheath would still be a damn good price. Right, so that's my first look at the BPS DBK knife, which I think is a bargain, but it's going to need a little bit of work for it to work well. Right, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. And I'd appreciate it if you'd, like, if you'd buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. That would be nice. There will be a link in the description box. If you don't want to buy me a coffee, don't bother buying me a coffee. I'm just asking if you appreciate my efforts. A coffee would be great. Thank you.